must get the amulet to Joffrey. Take no chances, but proceed to Wayne and Priory immediately. Got it? Good. The Emperor's trust was well placed. I'll stay here to guard the Emperor's body and make sure no one follows you. You'd better get moving. May Talos guide you. By the way, thanks for recovering Captain Renault's sword. I'll see that it is given a place of honor in the Halls of the Blades. You need to get out of here. There's no telling who will come first. The Blades are more assassins. The sacred symbol of the Empire. Only those of Septim blood can wear it, they say. He's the Grand Master of the Blades. As the eyes and ears of the Emperor, the Blades don't advertise themselves. We of the Imperial Bodyguard are the public face of the Blades, but most of my brothers serve the Emperor quietly, behind the scenes. You'll find Grand Master Joffrey at Wayne and Priory, living as a simple monk. My order is dedicated to the service of the Septim Emperors. We have failed in our duty to protect him. A chapter house of the Order of Talos, a monastic order connected to the Blades. It's located on the Black Road just outside of Kor. May Talos guide his soul to Aetherius. Rest in peace, my lord. Take care.
This is a holdup. Hand it over or die. Actually, that's the way this one prefers it. What do you need? Truth is, the Legion doesn't know who was behind the Emperor's murder. We've already ruled out the Dark Brotherhood. So is this something worse? Farewell, citizen. Yes? Can I help you? He's upstairs. Go ahead. I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? Emperor Uriel? Do you know something about his death? You'd better explain yourself. Now. You brought me the Amulet of Kings? This cannot be. Let me see it. By the Nine, this is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. The Prince of Destruction he referred to is none other than Merun's Dagon, one of the lords of the demonic world of Oblivion. The Emperor's words, 
close shut the jaws of oblivion certainly suggests that he perceived some threat from oblivion. But all the scholars agree that the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of oblivion by magical barriers. I'm not sure. Only the emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the emperor was aware of. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Now it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvach, south of here. You must go to Kvach and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. It will be safest here with me. When you return with Martin, we will figure out our next move. One of the youngest blades ever to serve in the Emperor's personal guard. I am glad to hear that he survived, but I fear he will take the Emperor's death particularly hard. The coronation of each new Emperor is sealed when he uses the Amulet of Kings to light the dragon fires in the Temple of the One. The dragon fires of Akatosh remain lit until the death of the Emperor. His successor then lights them anew upon ascending to the throne. With Emperor Uriel dead and no successor crowned, the Temple of the One will be dark for the first time in centuries. Yes, Boras told you right. I am the Grand Master of the Blades. We serve the Emperor and the Septim bloodline. Talos is our patron. You wonder to find me here? Discretion is our watchword. Only a few of us have the honor to serve publicly in the Imperial Guard. He is a priest in the chapel of Akatosh in Kvach. He never knew that he was Uriel Septim's son. You need to find him at once and bring him safely back here. The Daedra Prince of Destruction, an inveterate foe of all mortal races. He was involved with Jaegar Than's plot against the Empire years ago. It doesn't surprise me to find his hand in the current calamity. The Elder Council rules in the Emperor's absence by ancient tradition. Chancellor Akato heads the Elder Council and is the closest thing the Empire has to a leader right now. But the Blades answer only to the Emperor, of course. We are not an arm of the government. I keep a few things here in my chest to resupply traveling Blades. Help yourself to whatever you need. I'm listening. Welcome, good citizen. I'm Brother Piner, and this is Wayne and Priory, a monastery. Can I help you? Oh, yes. He'll be in the Priory house somewhere. Things go from bad to worse nowadays. Priests murdered on the chapel altar. Oh, what next? The Blades are closely linked to the Order of Talos. We both serve Talos, of course, and many of our brothers are former Blades. I myself was training as a Blade when I received the call to serve Talos in a different way. It isn't widely known, but many brothers of the Order of Talos are also members of the Blades. Chapter houses of the Order, like Wayne and Priory, 
provide safe houses for traveling blades as well as our more public religious functions. Blades who are too old for active service often join the order as lay brothers. We are honored to have Grand Master Joffrey, or Brother Joffrey as he prefers as a resident here. Here, perhaps you will find this useful, one of the books I saved from my blades training. You go into danger. Joffrey didn't tell us any more than that, but know that our prayers go with you. We'll see. Goodbye. I know that you are on an important mission for the Blades. Please, if you need a horse, take mine from the Priory Stables. Go with Talos's blessings. Do not fail. What do you want? You'll most likely find him in the library. The Emperor's elite knights. They dedicate themselves to Talos above and the Septims here on Earth. The loss of the Emperor must be a terrible blow to them. Our order works to spread the teachings and worship of the Divine Talos. Surely you have heard of us. If not, I invite you to spend some time in our fine library. All are welcome here. Wainan Priory is a monastery devoted to the praise and worship of Talos and the Nine Divines. Brother Piner, Father Joffrey and I are members of the Order of Talos. Eranor, a lay brother, tends after the sheep and our little farm. Brother Piner is a fine young monk, zealous and energetic. In time, I hope he may add patience and prudence to his list of virtues. I'm sorry, but I don't feel comfortable telling you. Bye. Greetings. I'm the Shepherd here. Eranor's the name, and this is Wainon Priory. Don't get too many folks passing through here these days. He'll be sleeping, like anyone with a lick of sense, in the Priory House. Well, I normally stay out of the affairs of the great folk that come through Wainon Priory to see Master Joffrey. But go ahead and take this hammer. You might have use of it, and I have others. Not much call for smith work around here, in any case. Well, we both have better things to do than stand here all day exchanging idle gossip. Good day to you now. Something to report? What are you looking for? The guilds are in a row, in the center of town, below the terraces north of the chapel. Be seen. Have pity, my therefore lady. 
that's nothing to eat. I'm so hungry. Thank you, kind lady. Blessings of anew upon ye. What? <laughs>